Hi guys, this is going to be a tutorial on how to dye AirFit grips. As you see here, I have a mod that uses AirFit grips, not a Buster, it's just a Kamza, but it does use the same grips as a Buster, so you can use it for that. But yeah, so this is just going to be a video on how to dye your AirFit grips. Uh, so yeah, here I dyed them blue, but there are a bunch of other colors that you can make them. So let's get started. First, start off with the materials. Um, you're going to need some, or obviously first, an air fit grip. I'm just using half of one here. You need an air fit grip, small container, some G2 ink. This is just the ink tube from a G2. So this is the color that your grip will end up being. So I'm using red here, so my grip will end up red. So you'll need that, and you'll need acetone or a nail polish remover. Uh, do the same thing pretty much. And you'll also need just some extra parts uh, to clean the AirFit grip. You'll need a nail, and the nail has to have a small head. See here, it's not a big uh, flat head, it's just a small little thing. And you also need a funnel, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so let's get started. So first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to have to clean your AirFit grip. And obviously you can take soap to it and stuff, but the big deal with AirFit grips is that there are holes running through the length of the grip. So that's what you use the nail for. You can just put it in one of the, the holes that are in the grip, push it all the way through, and pull it out. Uh, I would recommend using soap and water with this along with the nail, and just go through every hole just to make sure that it's completely clean, because you're going to want it to be pretty clean before you dye it. So yeah, first you just got to clean it, use the nail and everything, get it very clean. Then next, put your AirFit grip into your small container, like so. And then next, I'm just going to use this so that I don't get my desk all dirty. Uh, so next, you're going to take your G2 ink tube, and you're going to take off the back uh, little cap see there, and then you're going to take off the front piece, and this part can get a little bit messy, so you want to be careful. Just twist it off, and then put your G2 ink upside down into your container like that, and just let all the ink drain out into your container. So I'm just going to let this sit for a little bit, and then I'll be right back once the ink has dripped down. So I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. So you see all the ink is out of my ink tube. And one thing I just want to note is that at the back of the ink tube there's a little bit of glue. So if that comes out and it gets into your vial, just pull it out with some pliers or something. Just because you don't want that in there with the grip. So just make sure that you don't include the glue from the ink tube in with your mixture. But yeah, as you see here, all of the ink and the AirFit grip are in my vial. And next, you're just going to fill it up with your nail polish remover or acetone. So, use your funnel or whatever you need to get it into your thing. And you just want to fill it up so that it's covering the AirFit grip entirely otherwise it won't die evenly and one side will be a bit more colors than the other. So I need a bit more. Shit. Well I overflowed a little bit but that's alright. Um, so at this point dump a little more out. You can just put your cap on and make sure it's tight and then shake it up. You want to have the, the ink and the acetone equally 
um, mixed together so that the grip will die correctly and not just the bottom where the grip is in contact with the ink. But yeah, so that looks pretty evenly mixed. And then at this point, you just wait for a long time uh, to get this color here with the blue. It took me two months, or it took the grip two months of just sitting in this. And I periodically just shook it up to mix up the ink again. But yeah, so you can just let this sit. I'd say like once a week or so, just shake it up. And then that's pretty much all you have to do. Just wait like two months and then you can take it out and you will have dyed grips. So yeah, that's going to be the tutorial. Uh, if you thought that it was helpful, please leave a like. As always, leave any suggestions for other videos or tutorials I should make in the comment section down there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.